in case you guys forgot just how ridiculous this game is. <laughs> guys, I'm feeling a little lonely. I could use some sweet loving. So I'm back for some I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger looking good to <laughs> <Danny Simulator. laughs> I like I can't believe that this is actually real. Wait, hold on a second. Boom! Hey. You guys want to see my chicken wings? Maybe some drumsticks? I'll let you put your fingers in my bucket. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with me? Okay, guys, we're gonna play this game some more. It is outrageous. I'm gonna try my voices. I don't remember which voice I gave to who. I recorded the first one, went on tour, came back. Uh, so I don't remember. So we're just gonna make some voices up again and go with the flow. All right, cool. All right, so I think where we left off before was going into, what was it, lunch on our first day? I think we we're going to our lunch break. Yep, here we are, the cafeteria. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would be serious about eating. Well, yeah, obviously you can't just cook the food and then nobody gets it. That'd be, that'd be stupid. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. <laughs> that's, that's... Okay. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Miriam sounds like me, apparently. <laughs> Everyone, can I have your attention? <laughs> oh my god, there's so many voices! I forgot about Pop. I don't even remember what Pop's voice was like. First of all, what's going on with that dude's hands? He's like, can I get your attention? What was Pop's voice? Is that about lunch? He had like a high-pitched voice. No, I just want to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Oh, it's Colonel! Colonel! The love of my life is back. Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. <laughs> well, everybody's gonna let you talk, you fucking gorgeous man. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. <laughs> Everyone cheers! They love them some lunch. But I... Shh! Lunch, lunch, lunch! Look, at he's got like mustard on his belly and shit. That kid is eight years old and has a beer belly. You invite him over to the college party and he just kills the 24 pack of Natty Light. She said, shush! Me and Miriam are the same person, apparently. Oh boy. Sanders is giving me some lines. Gotta do it. <sighs> In honor of the new semester, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. Look at Miriam, she's excited as hell! That must be the smell I smelled! Me and Miriam have the same voice. That's what we've established. Oh, Mr. Sanders. Indeed. Look at his arms! That smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food that mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. <laughs> the aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. <laughs> but my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. This game is literally an advertisement for chicken. <laughs> Here I am thinking I'm trying to fuck Colonel Sanders, but no! No, no, no. It's just an ad to sell chicken. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper is in a scribbling and is scribbling down notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What are you, Forrest Gump now? Oh, look the way he's looking over at you like, I know you're listening to my secrets, bitch. Oh, it's Van Van! Our Jojo slash, um, Puri Puri Man character. Look, he's even got like, it looks like he has a giant moose knuckle. Shout out to Brock. But that dude has a camel toe. Look at it. He's got a camel toe. I can't remember what Van Van's voice was like. Maybe that's what I've been doing for Colonel Sanders. Van Van, what was your voice? Shit, I don't remember. All right, guys, I have found the Van Van voice. Now it's just a matter of if I can do it. 
<laughs> without losing my shit. What? You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw! <laughs> what a fucking line! What a line! Nah, my dude, nah. <laughs> I'm just, uh, drafting a last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, uh, poison. Got him! Look at that beautiful son of a bitch! He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. Look at his face! <laughs> I love this game! You wait to see what Zynga Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like, writing in my diary. There, that sounds like a bitch, right? Because Ashley's totally just not a great person. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry a chicken so tender. Does she stick as shit? What the hell? What is going on, Ashley? You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she glides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he, that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. Oh, for destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants them all to herself. Poor Van Van, getting shut out. Oh, please. <laughs> That's like the perfect line for him. Oh, please. Hmm. Well, Van Van, the man man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Oh, that's me. I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. <laughs> Colonel Sanders and Van Van. S C Colonel is just calm Van Van. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. He looks like a DBZ character. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. Colonel, I want to dig in, but not on that chicken. <laughs> yes, sir, you know what I want. Give me that bucket. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket. Oh! What's it doing in there? And sink your teeth into it. Suddenly, I cannot make that bucket joke. It just got disgusting. It's amazing. Of course it is. Tasting Colonel Sanders food transport you to another dimension. Along with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. All right, let's see. We have to make a decision. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. Hmm. We're gonna savor this moment. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy! Along with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man? For a flavor? Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Okay, well, I will choose my one option, which is you approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> oh, ho, ho, how bold to come out and ask. <laughs> Oh my god, I have to do a lot of Colonel voice. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I could keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't seem to be persist- but he doesn't- it, <laughs> But it doesn't hurt to be persistent. Look at that face. He is, uh, not pleased with me trying to get this recipe. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. Aww. You alright, Colonel? Did you just pop a drumstick? You've got moxie. I'll give you that. There's so much more that I've got, Colonel. You want to see it? Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. 
I use? It's just blank. It's something my great grandmother taught me. Blank? Wow! You've never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. He literally just vanished. What do you mean you notice? He just fucking vanished. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. <laughs> it sounds like you have big plans, Colonel. Big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. You sure are right. I alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Let's see, make him show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. Be modest, but thoughtful. Let's do that. Oh, he likes it! Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food, Colonel. Now you've got his attention. All right, Leonardo DiCaprio. The flavors were complex, but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery was perfect. I appreciate the compliment. Jiggles! I guess I have to yell it since my name is in all caps. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be a big success. You fucking hot man. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into the massive cooking arena, where this afternoon, oh, where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they can need. We're on Master Chef, y'all. It's Miriam. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Oh, Jesus, she just had a stroke. Wait a second. Oh, no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything, Miriam. Except for maybe a dude in the kitchen. Except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature. Adorable, tiny food creations. That's Sprinkles! Forgot about Sprinkles. I don't remember what voice he had. Oh, whatever. Welcome, students! To the cooking arena! It was probably something like that. That's what it is now. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Ah! Oh. oh, fuck, I broke her heart. Miriam? Hey. Hey, Colonel! Would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is. Me and you. If that wasn't clear. Want to be my partner? I think I just asked him out. Sure, Jiggles. I'll prepare our station. Oh, you better prepare your station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Haha, <laughs> it's Pop! Hello, new partner! Click. Beep, boop, beep, boop, Yep, he talks a lot. Oh my! Two potential partners! I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick four. Friend duties could be a little awkward. But that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. What do you want to ask? Who who do you want to ask to be Miriam's? Oh, Pop or Clank? We're gonna go with Pop. Sorry, Clank, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Pop today. Oh, I keep hurting everybody's feelings. Pop gives a big smile as he steps up to the same station as Miriam. I'm a chef. Are you? He holds up a banana and, without peeling it, proudly eats the entire thing. I think I made the wrong choice. It's disconcerting, but Miriam is too kind to get grossed out. Or to act grossed out. I love your enthusiasm, Pop. She looks at you like, really? This kid? But it's too late to change your choice now. Well, thanks for rubbing that in, I guess. Ah, uh, fuck me. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two, for today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Man, all this reading. My throat. It's gone. Oh, well, let's see. Which dish do we suggest? Steak tartare seems easy enough. It's fancy. You don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. As someone who likes chicken as much as Colonel does, I feel like I have a pretty good chance of getting in his pants with some mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh, see, he likes it. 
And let's move my face cam so you can see Colonel's beautiful face. I've always been something of a down home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. <gasps> and gravy. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders cast a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beat red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. Oh, Colonel! You sly devil! I'll go get the potatoes! No, please. Let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. <laughs> I forgot- I just gave you a voice and I already forgot it, Ashley. <laughs> Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business, you fucking fine, thick thing. Oof. Sanders heart is my business, and you'd better keep your fingers off my man! We're about to throw hands! <laughs> oh, did someone call for me? Uh, no jeez, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing Jiggle's dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork! That was the deal, remember? Oh Jesus, now we got some, like, Japanese speed metal. Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there, Ashley. Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Or a quartet? Actually, no. It looks like Jiggles was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. And... You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders. Maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Huh. Doubt it. <gasps> Don't be rude, Van Van! Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. Wow, I couldn't keep her voice going for that one. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. She's trying to get that dick. Uh-oh. But, Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel, deep down, that we cast a complimentary shadows? We fit together, like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. She's got some thighs on her, that's for sure. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel, if you don't watch out. Ashley's really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Let's see here, oh no. Let's go, to, let's go to Colonel. I'm here to learn and express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements, from contracts to handshakes. I took on Jiggles as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Yeah, Ashley! Suck it, bitch! Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Jiggle's natural talent or their loyalty. <gasps> oh, Colonel's is spitting that fire! Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of er er erection potentials. You look for Sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis in their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station and realize that, in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if the natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of which pours a smooth brown gravy smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork. And for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. <laughs> Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free.
Together you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the sporkful of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face! Van Van! Do something! Scooping up a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it is delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on, right there, Jiggles! We do not waste food in the brown cooking arena! Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands! Can I ask Potato's face? All right, Pop is Nogla. Van Van rushes back over, a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus and my silky salt water sauce. Plated on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. Swing! <laughs> uh, you've ignored me for far too long. That ends now. It is I who will have first bite. And you all look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off of the plate. No, don't! Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. It has been eaten. I uh think I left something in the oven. <laughs> I uh, don't feel so good. It, it killed him! Holy shit, he's dead! He's dead! Everyone, step back! Don't take another bite! When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped up in Pop's mouth. Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie! This kid's superhuman. Tastes like poison! The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are as motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to re re <laughs> reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite oblivious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. <laughs> Um, hello! I just tried to do a ghost over here! Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on! You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Ooh! Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you, before you go on, I want you to know, they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them, it reminded me of why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders? Yes, Jiggles? There's something I need to tell you. <laughs> Hold it right there! <laughs> There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, fuck. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef in the world. Definitely not what it says, but we're gonna continue. And every day since I have been, and every day since I have been working towards that dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all of our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Hey, no! Ah! You? Shut up! I'm the one here to say inspirational shit and to be the star of the story! Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? I was about to say that, like, why aren't you in prison? You can't prove that! <laughs> I love Van Van. I also saw you kill that guy. 
What was his name? Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. Even if we didn't even know his name. Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. Oh my god! The Spork Monster is here to find our hero! What is going on? I uh, think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds! How dare you threaten- Oh shit, it's, it's Sanders. My bad, he's not that up- he's not that up- that upbeat. How dare you threaten me just as I was letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be afraid. Oh, it's the- I need to pay attention! Be afraid! Be very afraid of me because I'm a monster! See? Is he rhyming on purpose or is that just a coincidence? But before you can dis discuss syntax any further, it's a turn-based fight sequence! What will you do? Uh, let's defend the first time. We decide to defend. Which defense will you choose? Trepidation! You close your eyes tight, but then open them just enough to squint and see the spork monster across the battlefield. For some reason, this makes you feel more prepared for what comes next. Spork monster goes on the attack! They spit hot gravy at you! I take one damage. Fat lot of good that defense did. All right, we're gonna attack. You decide to go on the attack. We're gonna chow down! It does two damage. There's not even an HP bar. Oh, he's feeling threatened by my attack. Their mashed mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. Oh shit, they're getting bigger. We're gonna attack. Cook with love. Buffed up and ready to rumble, they go on the attack once again. Utility tinsel. I take two damage as well. Well then, I'm gonna cook it with love again. The ultimate attack, rounded edge. Oh, here he comes. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of 1,000 chickens. Popeye Power Pinch. Popeye Power Pinch does 10 damage. Spork Monster is defeated. You, you saved me, Colonel. An injured Spork Monster spews steam into the night. Yeah, fuck, uh, fuck mercy. Finish that motherfucker! No student will ever walk the quad in fair again! This monster messed with the wrong shaft attack! You ready your final attack? You'll never survive my student dead load destruction! It does a whopping 10 damage. <laughs> Spork monster is completely vaporized. Colonel Sanser. Sanser? <laughs> Colonel Sanders looks on in awe. You continue to surprise me, Jiggles. The defeated monster left behind a special item. Of course it did, it's loot. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It is a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. You open the cover to find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have been signed is Borco. Hmm. Borco, that name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down for your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around begins you. The world, <laughs> the world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. It must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in tightly. Good night, my colonel. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. <laughs> God. Oh my god, guys. Alright. We have finished the first day. This video ran a little long. I'm sorry. I'll try to trim it down a little bit, but there's just so much good stuff. Wow. Thank you guys for joining me on this uh, journey of sorts. This game is nuts. I love it. I can't wait to play more and show you guys the rest of this story. 
Thank you, guys, for uh, for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, and uh, that you enjoyed the first one enough to, to watch this one or something like that. Yeah? All right. And with the most suiting outro of all time, guys, I love you. Peace and chicken grease. Colonel would love that. I'm gone. See ya.